Hey everyone, Morgan here. In this Back to Basics episode, I'm going to be answering the question, what is situational awareness? Everyone always talks about, gotta have situational awareness, but very few people actually know what it means to be situationally aware. To put it simply, it's to be aware of your surroundings. But why? What's the point? Well, there are a few reasons. One, So we can see things preferably before they happen so that we can better control the situation either by avoidance or by simply controlling the situation. And two, so we can let others know that we're paying attention. And three, so we can generally understand the world around us and the behaviors of people a little bit better. By being situationally aware, we are lowering the chances of being caught off guard, surprised, and otherwise becoming a victim. Situational awareness isn't just for urban environments. It's all the time. In your home, talking on the phone, while you're driving, sitting in a restaurant, taking a walk in nature, and so on. All of our senses are engaged when we're situationally aware. We can immediately recognize sounds, smells. We can focus in on people or situations. We can learn to trust our instincts. We can learn when we need to act on a situation should we need to act. Being situationally aware isn't the end-all be-all when it comes to not being coming a victim, but it's a dang good place to start. By being situationally aware, we're not only allowing ourselves to be aware of our surroundings at all times, but we're also signaling to others that we know what's going on. The majority of people who commit crimes on others do so because they believe them to be a soft target. A soft target is someone who would be easy to take advantage of. The majority of those looking to harm don't want to work hard for it. Being situationally aware doesn't mean you need to be paranoid looking over your shoulder 24-7. It simply means that we need to be aware of what's going on around us. Like staying off your phone, looking people in the eyes, surveying the area around you, examining the people around you, looking for potential exits, and so on. It can take some practice to get into the habit of situational awareness. The best step forward is to be conscious of your behavior when you're out in public, at home, driving, and so on, as well as other people's behaviors and your general surroundings. Take a mental note of everything that's going on around you, as well as how you're perceiving what's going on around you. I'm going to go into more ways that we can practice situational awareness in part two. This is an entire series on situational awareness, and I would love to hear your thoughts about other things that you'd like to hear about situational awareness. If you have any other tips, please do put them down below, but I will be covering quite a lot in this situational awareness series. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.